The Israel-Hamas war stoking protests across the U.S. at various college campuses. In the Northeast, a pro-Palestinian demonstration at Brooklyn College. And at Columbia University, massive crowds as supporters of both Israel and Palestinians held competing protests. Columbia, Columbia, open your eyes. In the nation's capital, American University students gathering in solidarity with Israel. The horror has reached an unimaginable level. While supporters of Palestinians made their presence known. No one is no. No. It's scary. I mean, I walked up here with my flag on and I instantly took it off because you know, people are telling you to be careful. At UNC Chapel Hill, tensions boiling between supporters of the two sides. <laughs> Arizona State University Students for Justice in Palestine holding a rally today outside the student union, one day after the school's Hillel Jewish organization held a vigil in support of Israel. The school acknowledging the distress and concern caused by the week's events in a statement. But some Jewish students say it doesn't go far enough. There was no real statement saying what happened was wrong, which I think is stressing out a lot of the Jewish students. A war of words also playing out in statements from student groups and university's leadership. The University of Florida president issuing a viral statement saying in part, quote, there is no defense for terrorism. This shouldn't be hard. The NYU Law Student Bar Association president possibly out of a campus title and future job offer at a law firm for writing Israel bears full responsibility for Hamas's attack in a weekly bulletin, leaving some of the school's Jewish community on edge. So I've honestly been avoiding campus. I didn't go to class this afternoon. The Student Bar Association voting to start the president's removal process as a result, and NYU condemning the terrorist attack on Israel in a statement. At Harvard, it's Palestinian solidarity groups initially releasing a joint statement holding the Israeli regime entirely responsible for all the unfolding violence. At the end of the day, this is a group that seeks the destruction of the Jewish race, and it's not the right time to be um, issuing a pro-Palestinian statement. Backlash quickly ensued, a professor posting a photo of a truck driving around campus showing photos, which he redacted, of some of the students who signed the statement. Some groups formally apologizing and retracting their signatures while over 4,000 members of the Harvard community signed a counter statement. There's a lot of like tension, a lot of people have missed class. Harvard's president condemning the terrorist atrocities perpetuated by Hamas, emphasizing that the student body does not speak for Harvard University. I feel like Harvard um, very visibly and loudly stood by Israel, but I don't hear the same frustration for the, the blood that's been shed for the Palestinians. Student all right, all right, uh, Shalom Amakim. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rechak Wadash. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give all uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lekakim that's pushing his word in uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in the truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom, you know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rechak Wadash, you know, uh, Adawan Rathaza, you know, I mean, Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation Israel, you know, and my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh was shot by Hashem Kakadash is going to be basically on uproars of the people. All right. And that's a sign all right, that was going to happen all right, in the last days that our Lord I told uh, our, the apostle uh, Ezra's man. All right. You're going to hear commotions. All right. Well, that was, that was, that's what our Lord said in Luke 21. But in his second Ezra's, the ninth chapter, uh, the Lord says it's going to be what uproars of the people in the world. And, you know, I was just playing this video, you know, looking at the college students, the college students around the U.S. clashing over the Israel and Palestine, uh, the Palestine, you know, conflict. So there's the vision. And that was a sign all right, that was going to happen also, man. All right. The Lord said he came not to send peace, all right, but a sword, meaning going into division. All right. So showing like this kingdom is falling, man. All right. Babylon the Great is falling because why everybody is divided against each other, all right. And the Lord, because it's not a unite, isn't the America is not united, right? It was never united. The Lord raised this place up to ultimately 
to show forth wickedness throughout the world so ultimately the lord can destroy it man so but these one of the signs that an empire is falling by in, inside fighting so this book of second Ezra chapter 9 in verse 1 says he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself and how do you measure the times are uh, you see what's going on around the world i uh, not only in your city which you look in your city you measure it you see what's going on globally are you seeing what the, what the what the scripture says? You link it up with the prophecies according to the scriptures, man. Are right, you measure it? Hey, all right, are right, they doing uh, Neuralink testing? All right, that's that's speaking of the RFID chip. All right, they they they're um, using crypto and, and things like that. That's moving towards the RFID chip. They making different laws. All right, Jacob's trouble. All right, uh, food shortage. That's going into famine. All right, different diseases. That's pestilence, man. Earthquakes everywhere. All right, these are the times that the Lord told us. That was going to happen before he makes his second return. So that's how you measure the time. All right, there's wars going on in the Middle East. All right, that's wars and rumors of wars. All right. He said, uh, so like in 2nd Ezra 9 and verse 1, it says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou, uh, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And, and the Lord is visiting the world. All right, now by what thunder, earthquakes, all right, uh, fire, all right, different storms and tempests, floodings, all right. But ultimately, the Lord, the Heavenly Father, He's going to send His only begotten Son back, his, which His name is Yahweh Shai, who the world actually called Jesus Christ. All right, He's going to gather the elect of Israel. All right, He's going to make war with these nations, the armies of the nations. All right, he's going to gather the elect of Israel from what started with the 144,000, well, from, uh, from America, which is Babylon the Great, and from all the lands the elect has been scattered. All right, he's going to destroy, well, along with the missiles, all right, those laser fires going to destroy Babylon the Great, man, which is America. Verse 3 says, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, all right, so he said, we measure the time and we said, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people, this is an uproar of the people. All right, clashes. This is an uproar. Moments of tension at student led pro Palestine rally. All right. All right. Going into it. You know what I mean? All right, which we know this war. All right. He is. It's like you. We know this war is not gonna fully, fully pop out World War Three until what? It's like is this plan? Until um, that RFID chip is made mandatory. It's like you. Second Ezra chapter nine and verse um, three again says, "Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the Most High speak of these things that were for thee, even from the beginning." Like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. So the Lord spoke of these things, and it's being manifest right now. <clears throat> Just like it. I think it's Isaiah. Forty eight. Bear with me. Isaiah 48 verse 3 says, I have declared the former things from the beginning, and they went forth out of my mouth, and I showed them, I did them suddenly, and they came to pass. All right. So the Lord, he declares the end from the beginning. That's what I was looking for. That was the same, uh, that was a good precept I was looking for. All right. Isaiah 46. Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 10. It says, declaring the end from the beginning. I read verse Isaiah, Isaiah 46 and verse 9. It says, remember the former things of old, for I am the most high Yahweh, and there is none else. I am the most high Yahweh, Bashamashah, there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times to things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. So the counsel of the Lord is going to stand. All right. Let's listen to some more of this video. ...across the country, wondering whose voices will be loudest. 
Valerie Castro joins us now from our studios in New York. Valerie, with so many demonstrations around the country there, are there concerns that things could become violent? We know a former Hamas leader has called for Friday to be a global day of anger. Is the NYPD doing anything to prepare for that possibility in New York? Well, Allison, we should say for the most part, the protests and rallies, though they have been tense, they have remained relatively peaceful or at least without any major violence. But an NYPD spokesperson tells NBC New York that all officers will be in uniform tomorrow around the city and there will be added patrol. It goes into that, but I guess they call it a day of uh, rage, all right, for today, Friday the 13th. And Lord willing, something happens, man. I in <clears throat> the, those people in the land of Israel, all right, those Ishmaelites, which are the Palestinians, which we go over this all the time, and those uh, Amalekites, which are the, the Israelis, which are Edomites, they're none of them supposed to be in that land. That's land for us, the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? And also the Israelite foreigners that are scattered amongst the nations that lineage go back to the 12 tribes according to their fathers, all right? That's our land, all right? That's why it's, that's why it's chaos and, and, and war over there because the true people are not in that land the lord said when we get back to that land we're gonna it's gonna be peace all right we're gonna dwell in safety all right there shall no be no violence being in our streets man showing that none they are not the real people that's supposed to be in that land you know but that's another topic but you see the wars and rumors of wars man but the lord said this also i'll close out on this just a quick lesson Matt mark three so i can Mark 3 and verse um, 23 it says, And he called them unto him and said unto them in parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And America is divided. All right. This place is divided. All right. The whole world is divided. All right. But mainly America started headed by Esau Edom because his kingdom is fallen. He says, if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. So America's not going to stand. All right. None of these governments are going to stand because ultimately the Lord is going to bring them down. All right. But there's infighting. That's a sign that, all right, your empire is falling. Verse 25, it says, and if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against itself and be divided, he cannot stand but have an end. All right. We're seeing the end of Esau, his rulership. All right, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. All right, we seeing the downfall of, of this devil, all right? This is the book of Matthew, chapter 10, in verse 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. So the Lord said he's not going to send peace. He's about to send a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and a daughter against her mother, and daughter-in-law against them, her mother-in-law, and a man's foes shall be they of his own household. And America's divided on who was right, who was wrong in those attacks. We know who was ultimately wrong, all right? Those Amalekites, because they orchestrate everything, all right? But either way, <laughs> we're about prophecy. We're about the words of Yahweh by Shema Shah, so we don't give a damn about none of them. We just stand, all right, the Lord putting the spirit on us the prophets you know start with our apostle elders great males on to tell you the prophecies man all right our lord is coming back he's gonna destroy all those heathens in there he's gonna gather the elect that's over there all right and he's gonna set up a king a, king, a everlasting kingdom starting with our king our king yahweh shah king david all right the throne of david is gonna be established man and the government body 100 with well, a 12 and 144,000. all right and we gonna rule forever this fighting, this conflict, all right, is because the Lord is, is not sending peace on earth. And it's going to prophecy that the Lord is going to come back and he's going to set up an everlasting kingdom in that land. All right. Well, throughout the whole earth. Throughout the whole earth in different planets, different galaxies, man. All right. We're going to be the top nation. All right. And the, when the righteous are in authority, all right, when the laws get put into the world is going to be peace no more war man proverbs 29 and verse 2 and when so when the righteous are in authority the people rejoice but when the wicked bear rule the people mourn so the wicked is ruling that's why the people is mourning that's why crying and death is on the rise 
because the wicked is ruling. All right. When the rights are the authority, people gonna rejoice. Yeah, we, yeah, we gonna um, put a foot up, foot up these heathens' ass for a thousand years. And after a thousand years, you Edomites, you wicked, we are gonna eradicate you with fire, man. Your whole nation gonna get burned up. Uh, Obadiah verse eighteen says that. You can read it. All right. Not my words. The words of your Bashim al Shad that's gonna be executed, man. All right. But you other nations after a thousand years, y'all gonna go to y'all lands, but y'all gonna always be tributaries unto us, man. Bringing gifts. The trip say. Um, our gates shall be open continually, man. That way they may bring in the forces of the Gentiles, man. And I can't wait to see that, man. Us ruling with our lawyer, how it shut, man. You heathens, tributary to us forever. We going the Lord said, uh, keep his word until the end. He gonna give us what, um, uh, uh, rule over the nations, man. Revelation 2, 25, going down, man. Authority over these nations. We gonna beat them with a rod of iron, man. That's the time we coming it to, man. All right. So these protests, these conflicts is only biblical prophecy. And the Lord said it's going to happen. That's why we got to measure the time. So with that, you know, Lord, within this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, I want to I want to give all praises, all honor and all glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rechach All right. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give a uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lekakim that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, Makim, keep pushing, keep it going, Shalom.